Hi guys, and welcome to Behind the Screen. Uh, we're doing the update for what happened last night in the my live group, because, hey, let's, let's follow up. We spent all that time looking into castles and then decided to wing it. So I'm sure you guys are curious as to how things actually played out. Well, this is how they went down. They had already broken out of prison in Castle Valenscar, as I had discussed before. Um, and so with their two... Uh, you had the, the the fighter and the mage dressed, or no, not the mage, she's a rogue now. A fighter and the rogue dressed as soldiers with the ranger and the priest in between them dressed as prisoners. But somehow it slipped my mind that they still had all their weapons. So I guess I accidentally let them walk through a fully guarded prison uh, castle with like the prisoners carrying all their weapons on them. I fucked that up. Oh, well, anyway, so they walk up through the castle to the top lair, to where the Lord of Castle Valenscar, who is not Sir Hodrick, the guy they're looking for, but still, like, the Lord of the Castle, uh, lives. And there's two guards on the door, right? But most of the other doors in the castle are unguarded, because it's a castle, it's filled with your own soldiers, you don't guard each and every single door, you guard, like, the important shit, right? So, you know, a lot of the things don't have guards on them. Um, especially when you're dressed as guards, no one asks who you, like, fine, walk them through, whatever, they're soldiers. Uh, anyway, they get up there, and Mike, the, the fighter leading the party, is like, dude, who's behind that door? And the soldiers are, they're soldiers in a castle, like, who the fuck are you asking what's behind this door? Who are you? What's your name? What's your rank? Who do you work under, right? And so the party's like, oh, shit. They start to get a little bit worried. And then I, I see this tran this look between Mike and um, Sanziolo, who is the the rogue. Yes, his name is Sanziolo. Uh, I see them, like, look at each other. And then Mike goes, who the fuck are you? What's your rank? What's your station? Who do you... And then the guards are just like, guard! And start yelling for, you know, for assistance, for help. Because clearly there's something fucked up going on here. And they won't, like, they're not going to deal with it on their own. They're going to call more guards to the attention, right? Like, that's their job. They, they're they guarding the Lord's Gate. When someone shady as fuck shows up, you yell for help. That's what you fucking do, right? And so now the party's like, oh shit. Mike goes, all right, I'm going to try and knock him out. I punch him. And he punches him and deals two, D2 temporary damage. Punches the guy in the face. The The fight ensues. They kill the guards really quickly. They're only uh, second level fighters. Uh, or two hit dive guards. So pretty simple. Mike bursts into the door. Thinking it's Sir Hodrick. Even though there's no reason for him to be there. And the guards already confirmed that he's not there. He bursts in the door anyway. And there's this guy who's like getting dressed. Like furiously. Like he's got his pants on. He's trying to get his shirt on. Looks. Sees Mike. Goes for his long sword pulls it out, and gets in battle with Mike. Now, the Lord of Castle Valenscar, um, God, my Lord, fuck, I forgot, crap, I forgot what I named him. What the hell did I name him? Lord something or other. I, we'll just call him Lord something or other for now, because I, I don't remember what I named him. Um, is the general, like, he, he's a big time general, he's a 10th level fighter. He, he's got his shit together. He's got a plus one magic sword. He's got 17 strength. He's uh, a master with his sword, which means he gets plus three to hit, plus three to damage. So he strikes at, what is that? Plus 14 to hit, right? Nine for level, three for specialization, um, one for strength, one for plus one magic sword. Uh, so he starts dueling with Mike. Well, the only real problem is that this guy... He doesn't have any of his other equipment on. He's literally just dressed with a sword. He doesn't have any armor. And normally a 10th level fighter who's like the general of a large army would have like magic equipment that would help him like assist him with things. But he's literally like... he. The party burst on him when he was in bed with a girl. We don't need to explain what was going on in there. But so he's like trying to put on his pants and his shirt and like going for his equipment. So in case something... Because he hears his guards yelling, guards, guards, you know, assistant, help. You know, whatever. Um, so he barely has time to put on pants before Mike bursts in. A duel ensues. Uh, Mike keep like, the guy never misses him. He, in fact, he criticals him a few times. And Mike's got 20 armor class. Yeah, six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. He, Mike's got like heavy armor on. He's got really high dex. He's really like he rolled great stats. He rolled high dexterity and high strength. So he, he despite his heavy armor, his dexterity still applies. And then he's got a shield specialization. So he gets like bonus for his shield and everything. So he's Mike is like AC 20. Still, uh, Sir, what's his name? 
criticals him like three times, hits him every other time, and the only reason that Mike does not go down is because the Dwarven Cleric is standing behind him just like heal, 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 and gets amazing heals. I think he does um, three heal moderates, which are d10 plus one, and rolls uh, a 10, which makes it 11, uh, an 8, which makes it 9, and a 7, which makes it 8. So rolls for amazing heals, and his uh, light heals are just d8s, flat d8s. He rolls like a 1, a 4, an 8, and uh, something else. Anyway, so the point is like, the cleric is just like giving him massive amounts of HP. Meanwhile, Mike is like trying to fight this guy who gets two attacks every round. We're, meanwhile, Mike gets... Actually, shit, he probably should have gotten more attacks than that. But he was getting two attacks every round. Mike was getting uh, two attacks every other round. One attack, one attack, and then two attacks. So... Um, so Mike is getting his ass handed to them by this mostly naked man, and the party's like, holy shit, what the fuck did we get into? Meanwhile, guards come charging up the stairs, uh, and the ranger pulls out his sword and like decides to stop, the, like, duels the guys on the staircase, and the rogue is, like, standing in between going, I don't know what to do, and starts pulling out these knives and throwing them. At one point, Mike, like, can't just can't deal with this guy anymore. Like, he, Mike is dealing out damage because he only needs a 10 to hit him, which means Mike needs to roll a 2 because he gets plus 9 on his attack. He's a 6-level fighter, so 5... Plus three for uh, sword mastery brings it to eight. Plus one for magic brings it to nine. Yeah, so plus nine to hit. So Mike just needs a two. Not needs to not roll one. So he just keeps hitting this guy and hitting this guy and hitting this guy and hitting this guy and criticals him like once or twice. Um, and the guy's not going down because he's got d he's got ten d ten HP. He's got a ton of HP, right? Um, so eventually Mike's like, fuck, I can't take this anymore. The cleric is running out of heals. Uh, my HP is dangerously low. So Mike just backs out of the room and shuts the door and then turns around to the rest of the party. He's like, uh-oh, guys, we got to go somewhere else. This is not the right thing. And because he literally, like he said, and like he pantomimed the whole thing, like he shuts the door and turns to everyone else and talks with his hands. And so I'm like, all right, the door opens behind you and he sta slashes at you. He hits. He does exit, and Mike's like, "What?" He tries to argue it, but clearly he. We all agree that no, 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 no. You did let go of the door, um, and so Mike is, you know, in a pickle now because now he's like turning back and has to fight the guy. And the rogue, for his first action in the entire battle, just goes Whoa! and chucks his boot knife at um, Sir What's His Name and hits him in the chest and kills him. And Mike is kind of bummed that you know. He did all, took all the damage, did all the work, and all of a sudden the rogue at the very end goes, Wah! and actually he critical the guy. Still, he did like six damage. The guy had three life, four life left. Mike was kind of bummed. Um, meanwhile, the soldiers are coming up the stairs. Uh, the rogue is, the, the ranger is fighting them off, and it's becoming very clear that the person who skipped last week, whose character isn't with the party, is probably not going to see very much action, and is probably going to sit around for almost the entire session not doing anything. So we're like, you know what? Screw it. Charles, uh, he plays the character Runs With Hammer. Runs With Hammer. You know what? You track the party there. You heard they got arrested, whatever. You fucking break into the castle. Or you you walk into the castle, no one questions you. You charge up the stairs. You're in the battle now. Just You should show up behind everyone else. Fuck it, you can be there. You should have a good time. Let's hang out. And everyone's like, whatever, it's lame, but we want him to play with us. So he shows up. So the party gets assistance from a guy who's not supposed to be there. Comes up behind the guys on the staircase. Whacks a couple of them with his giant maul. Um, the battle ensues. They take care of the guards on the staircase. Then runs with hammer, pulls a... Uh, a Han Solo. Grabs one of the pikes that the guys... Was fi uh, that the soldiers were fighting with, runs downstairs after the soldiers, you know, uh, or run, because two of the soldiers retreated. One of the soldiers retreated. No. He came up, joined with the party, more soldiers came, they fought them back, and then they retreated. He chases them down the stairs with the pike, gets down to the bottom of the staircase on the first floor, where there's like a whole regiment of soldiers like, you know, giving, being given orders and forming up and like, okay, there's someone upstairs. We're going to go here. You guys, you go over there. You guys go over there. And all of a sudden he comes running down the stairs, sees all these people. And the guy leading him is like, go get him. You know? And so he like hurls the pike and then runs all the way back up the staircase. Meanwhile, as he's going back up the staircase, the rest of the party's like, fuck, we got to get out of here. Let's run down this hallway. And so they chase off down this hallway around the corner only to see like a set of guards uh, with pikes, which, you know, are nice and long. So you can fit row on row on row, which is why you have pikes uh, coming towards them. Like, shit, this is the wrong way. Let's go back this way. And then they meet up with um, runs with hammer. Who's coming up the staircase. Like, nope, they're behind us. They're behind us. Uh, and the person's like, uh, where do we go? Where do we go? And they see guards coming from the opposite hallway towards them. Like shit, we're cornered. 
there's a staircase in that tower. Let's run down the staircase. And they get to the staircase, and Mike's like, I'm going to stand behind. I'll hold them off. You guys go. And then runs with him. He's like, I'll hold them off with you, too. And there's like a, a bonding moment. And the rest of the party like runs down the tower where Mike and Synonymous, or not Synonymous, uh, Mike and runs with Hammer stand behind to hold off the guards. And the guards like kind of edging towards them, but not quite fighting. And so there's like this awkward, like, not awkward, uh, this tense standoff where they're both like, Arr! and all of a sudden they hear footsteps from behind them. And they realize that around the corner, more soldiers are coming like, shit, we got to go down the staircase. So they go down the staircase. Now everyone's down the staircase. Down the staircase at the bottom. Before Mike and runs with Hammer get there, uh, the rest of the party like peers out and they're in the courtyard, the big open courtyard, and like shit. But they pause. No one seems to be around. Uh, the rogue, Sans Yellow, pops into a room, sees like a bulging sack of copper. It looks like a barracks or something. Grabs the copper back coin, puts it in pocket. There's nothing else interesting there. And they see three swordsmen coming towards them. So the ranger takes a shot kills one of the swordsmen. The swordsmen all react with like, what the fuck? Where did that come from? And start calling for reinforcements because they had just been deployed to the tower to go like, you know, a couple swordsmen guard this tower, a couple swordsmen guard that tower because you can't like in a spiral, a tight spiral staircase, you can't use a pike. You know, you, you have to use swords. That's why you have spiral staircases. In fact, there's a reason the spiral staircase goes in the direction that it spirals. It's that um, if you're right-handed and you're going up the stairs, it's very difficult to wield the weapon, whereas if you're right-handed and going down the stairs, it's easier to wield your weapon, because the the, spi the stairs uh, spiral clockwise, that when you're fighting, your right hand is always against that, like, curve, the tight, more tightly curved wall, so it's hard to get your attack in. Anyway, didn't come into play. Um, that's why they were deploying swordsmen to that corner. But the swordsmen didn't realize that the party was there, they were just going to that corner to guard that corner. Um... So the party now has like all these men coming at them from the front, and they try and go back up the staircase to the roof. And as they're going up the staircase to the roof, they realize that there are pikemen on the second floor with pikes like pointed down the staircase. Like, you know, there's a landing for a moment, and the pikemen aren't in the staircase, but they're like pointing their pikes down the staircase, which doesn't really make it easy to attack anyone, but it definitely makes it difficult for people to come up. Like, it basically causes a bottleneck, and like it, it stops anyone from coming up the staircase without actually fighting them very easily. So Mike is there, like, hacking at these pikes, trying to break the pikes, when they get completely surrounded in the courtyard, and, like, a, an officer comes up, demands their surrender and everything. The party reluctantly surrenders, gets dragged out into the middle of the field, completely into the middle of the courtyard. They're completely surrounded on all sides. They've all been, they've all uh, dropped their equipment. A couple of them, uh, the, the rogue has like some things hidden in his boots. Uh, the ranger, as he's like dropping his equipment, like tucks in the dank in his boots surreptitiously, no one notices. And they have like guys coming up to them with manacles. Like, you know, the party is fairly well spread out in this area. They're not tightly packed anymore. It's clearly they've surrendered. They've been spread out. They've had their equipment taken away. Guys come with manacles to start shackling them. And runs with hammers like, fuck this shit. And as they start shackling him, he like grabs the, the shackles, tries to grope the guy who is shackling him. Uh, but misses badly. The guy squeals like, ah! And clearly, you're fucking surrounded by guards. They notice this. And three archers like, shoot him. One of them criticals him. The others miss. He takes some damage. Um, he says he rips out the arrow and tries to stab the guy in the throat who uh, shackled him. I'm like, all right, go for it. He does. He rolls a beautiful little hit, even though he's not proficient with stabbing with arrows. Uh, rolls a nice hit. Kills the guy who's just some random servant. He wasn't even a soldier. He was just like random servant. Uh, kills him. So the archers let loose a fury of arrows. This time it was a ton of arrows. Now he's like stuck like a pincushion. Um with arrows he's still not dead because he rolled really really well on his hp and he like starts moving towards another person uh the guy shackling the ranger uh varin with this arrow you know trying to stab him and all these pikemen just close and go and kill him and he gets down to like negative 18 or something so runs with hammer dies and the rest of the party is now uh well under arrest for murdering the lord of castle valenscar and killing a dozen, two dozen soldiers. And that's where we left off. So I have no idea what's going to happen with this party. I'm glad I didn't plan anything complicated because clearly they said, fuck it, we're just going to go do what we want to do. And um, I don't know if we're going to even be able to continue with these characters. I cannot see a way out for them. They're in a... Now they're going to be... They're, they're down in the dungeons now. I mean, we didn't play that out. We called it night because it was like 12.45 or 12. No, it was like 12.15, 12.15. So, you know, it's, it's late. Everyone's got work in the morning, except for me. Um, so 
Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do with them. But we'll find out. I'll, I'll talk with them individually later in the week. And next time we do a behind the screen, we will uh, ask them, you know. Oh, it's also going to be like three or four weeks before we are able to play again because people are going out of town and stuff. So we got time to figure out what's going on. Uh, so the next time we do a behind the screens episode about this, I'll let you know if we're making new characters or if we are uh, playing with the same characters. But that's it for behind the screen. You should check out Misclicks, uh, which is happening later today. It's actually happening in an hour and 15 minutes. So I got to go prep for that and some other stuff. I'm going to try and knock out that role play, solemn recommended reading doc. And uh, we'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.